This is Brian, and welcome to this commentary playthrough of Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. So yeah, this is a short one if I remember right, and overly difficult. It's been a little while since I played it though, so I can't um, guarantee I won't have a few hiccups. It um, reminds me a little more of the first Mario for the regular NES, because it is pretty simple. And once you progress too far forward in a screen, you're not going to be able to go back. I am playing just the regular black and white, or green and white, or whatever you want to call it, Game Boy version. I don't know if there was a color version for this, but I don't have it anyway, so... This is what we get. So if the visuals are a little boring, I apologize. Yep, once again we have mushrooms. Boombas. There are probably some pipes you can go down still. Yeah, there we go. And we do have fire flowers. But yeah, it's not like it keeps bouncing around. It'll just bounce straight up once you shoot it, so it's a little different in that respect. sure exactly what those guys are supposed to be, but at least as far as other, compared to other Mario enemies, I don't really recognize them as being equivalent to anything. And yeah, we do still have the star power, though so you got a little bit of a different jingle song here in this one. And yeah, we're towards the end here already. You do have the option of going through the top door or the bottom door. I think it's um, best to try to get the top one if you can because it gives you a, gives you a little mini game, which I don't think you get if you go through the bottom one. But yeah, and I just want to yeah try to stop it at the right time. I got the worst option there. I think if you jump on these, their shell will actually... Yeah, it'll blow up like a bomb. Probably better to try to get them with your flower if you can. Or like that. I don't remember if you get one-ups and... Oh, well, <laughs> there we go. Guess I didn't hit the button right. Well, you don't have to start all the way at the beginning, though. I was saying, I don't think, um... I don't think you have extra life mushrooms in this one. But I could be wrong. Alright, I at least got the mushroom back. Okay, I guess they give you hearts as one-ups. Now that I got that, I do remember that, but I didn't offhand before. Yeah, and those are the blocks that'll drop once you land on them. It was pretty instantaneous there, I wasn't really expecting that, but I made the jump up to the top anyway. Yeah. Didn't work out the best for me, but at least I got one one up. I think this might be the last level of this world already. It is overall pretty short. Yeah, and some of those blocks will try to fall on you. Um, you can potentially make it up top there. As you can see, there are some coins up top. 
don't really remember exactly what you would need to do to get there. Overall, kind of just going to take my time. Going to rush it. Can I jump on this guy? Okay, yep. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, you can't go back, so... Once you pick which route you're taking, you're stuck with it. Probably would have been a mushroom down there, plus all the coins. Alright, so... Ugh. Well, I thought I pressed to the right, but I guess it didn't register there. There was the boss for the world, it looked like. Simple enough. Jump over him and that kills him, I guess. I thought it would just release the bridge there and make him fall. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. But it's not Daisy. I don't know. I don't... I don't know for sure. I don't remember. Um, if anybody does, let me know. Was this the first time they had Daisy? Then again, I don't know if they gave a name for the princess in the first couple of games, even. And yeah, here we got more of a water world type of theme. Okay. Yeah, here we have one where we can go down the pipe. I'd like to get that mushroom. Well, I guess in getting it though, kind of seems like it blocked me from getting back over there to get more coins. Oh well. Extra life. There's another thing to take note of. Um, it also seemed like my my Spitfire collected coins for me as well. Uh, fire breathing seahorse. I kind of thought that guy, oh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought he hit me. Didn't really seem to register right away. Well, another world down, or another level down. Yeah, it seems like there are only three levels in each world. Yeah, there we go. Run across that? Yes, I could. Wanted to see if I can go down that one. Okay. Not gonna waste too much time there, but I wanted to kind of see if I could. Make the jump up. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Eh. Didn't really mean to fall down there. I did still miss some coins, but overall I got most of them. I 
It is the kind of game where since you don't have a... a tail or a cape or anything like that from some of the other games, it can be kind of hard to platform, or a little harder to platform. Or maybe I should say less forgiving. as we can before the star runs out. Okay. Same, there must be a hidden block here somewhere. the needle here. Okay. Yeah. I was say that one's gonna make me climb for it, but I had to be quick on hitting the button there and I wasn't good and wasn't fast enough. Okay, yeah. So we got a little submarine here. You can actually shoot the blocks with it. I think you get the opportunity to get bigger, too. So you don't get killed in one hit, because right now I think I die in one hit. Most part, I think I just want to keep spamming attack, though. kill the guys coming at me, or eventually I think there are some walls you have to shoot through to be able to progress. Like that. I don't think I would... There's my mushroom. Yeah, I don't think you'd fit through here if you didn't shoot some of that. here. Certainly not difficult. I think it's just a matter of shooting through here. Yep, here we go. I guess, could have I made it around the boss without killing the boss? Yeah, I think it was easier to just keep shooting here. So yeah, that's a little bit of a more unique level for a Mario game. Since we did have the whole submarine thing going on there. Thank you, Mario. Oh, Daisy. Turned into one of those octopi. Or whatever they are. With an octopus, that's kind of what they look like. Eh, at least I got two. Oh yeah, we got the Moai here. Alright, well I was trying to jump on him, not run into him, but... Such as it is. Yeah, there are some spikes there. Looks a little dangerous. Oh, maybe one of those blocks would be a coin block. Ah, damn it. Yeah, 
Overall, there are quite a few coins available. Okay. I didn't think he was going to jump again that quickly. My fault. But yeah, they are very forgiving. They don't even make you restart these levels at the beginning. I wasn't trying to do that. It just for some reason didn't jump as far that time. worth it or not. I got those oh I guys running after you there then. Yeah. Hoping that's a mushroom. Either way, at least I killed that guy off. How far back would it make me go if I die here? A few lives here. At least they're nice enough to not make those cannons pop back up right away there. Can I go down this one? No. tedious, but that's a lot of coins. I could <laughs> use the extra lives at this point. Ah, dang it. Yeah, you actually have to ride the rocks across the spikes there, or at least I think that's how you're supposed to do it. That one, you probably could have done it without it, but... Seems easier to me. Yeah. I'm really ready for the other one to come there. Another one done. Okay, we got three anyway. I'll take it. Another underground kind of level. Seems like it has more of an Egyptian theme music. And you got the Later, it'll come down there. I don't know if I could jump on those guys. It's possible. But I think it's enough to just kind of trick them.
That guy I should be able to jump on. Damn it. I didn't... Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it was really worth that. Once again. I don't know if it's worth going down here to try to get these. I think it's probably easier to try to make the jump from down here, though. Yeah, I was just wondering how long it's going to take that guy to come back. Hey, okay. guess my timing on that was poor. that guy first and get the spider. Didn't want to go back while I was in the air quite the way I wanted to. Okay, well, there's that. Burning through the lights quickly now. Suddenly. I need to remember that frickin' spider's gonna show up there. At least the one up there is nice. God damn it! I guess I'd probably still consider ah I don't really like the controls They're too clunky I'm gonna say I still don't really consider this from what I'm experiencing so far oh come on I was not I would say that this isn't necessarily difficult as a game, but just kind of unforgiving. I guess I can jump on those spiders too, at least. to ride again. Yeah, I hope there's one. Well, there goes the mushroom. I didn't know if that spider was going to jump over that or not. That's why I was kind of waiting there.
that that little bastard was gonna get me. Yeah, I could have used some lies there, but that's fine. We at least beat it, finally. Alright, we've got the same music going here. This should be the last level for this world, but I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for today. This is a shorter game, so I'm probably going to make these parts a little bit shorter than some of the ones I usually do. I try to go about a half hour usually, and we're not that far from it. It's like 25 or 26 minutes in, I think. So we'll pick up here next time and continue on with Super Mario Land. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you've been enjoying the content so far, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.